Okay, today we're gonna do our in cab inspection on the manual truck. Okay, after you finish your air brake inspection, then you can say, okay, now I'm gonna continue with my engine running. I'm gonna do the in cab inspection. Okay, to do the in cab inspection, we're gonna start with our mirror, right? So our mirror, properly mounted, both driver and passenger side mirrors are working properly. Not bent, break, or crack, no illegal wheel, no more than 10 inch away from the cab, no illegal stickers, fully adjustable to driver's view. Okay, so what that means is here, you're able to adjust left mirror, switch it, right mirror, adjust it, and you should adjust the corner. Okay, all right. So that's your mirror. And then and now we're talking about a window. Properly mounted. Both driver and passenger side windows are in good working condition. No, no break, no crack, or illegal sticker. Goes up and down. So what you do is you press up and you press down and it works properly. Okay? Now you got your door. Properly mounted. Both driver and passenger side doors are in good working condition. Open and close properly. So what you do is you open the door, close it, okay? While working properly. Seat belt, properly mounted and secure. Good working condition, no cut, no fray. The latch locks and unlocks properly. So what you do is bring your seat belt, lock it, okay? And unlocks, unlatch. So what you do, no cut, no fray. Make sure like that, okay? Make sure no cut, no fray, all right? That's what you do with your uh, seat belts. And your seat, properly mounted, fully adjustable. It goes up, down, forward, and backward. So what you do is you go up, down, forward, and backwards, okay? So you do it like that for your seat, properly mounted and secure, okay? And then windshield. Properly mounted, the working condition, no crack or illegal sticker. Rubber seal is present and in good condition. So basically your windshield, and on the windshield itself around it, it's got a rubber seal on it. That's how it's mounted. So you gotta make sure that it's in good working condition. Okay, wiper and washer. Okay, so your wiper, so what you do is you turn on the wa washer, wiper, wiper, okay? And then you gotta put a washer, and what you turn on, and it will wash it, yeah? So, properly mounted, good working condition. No bend, break, or crack, no illegal wheel, no missing bolt, okay? So that's, you're talking about a washer, I mean the wiper, right? And the wiper blade, so that's the blade itself, okay? That's the rubber blade itself, okay? properly mounted, good working condition, no cut or fray. Replace them when it's hardened, right? So when it's hardened, then you know that that's the time you have to change it because it won't clear out your, uh, your water, right? Okay, dashboard area. So now we go down to this area here, right? For this truck, we're gonna turn it on. Make sure we're on neutral. All right. Go. All right, so with this here, now we're gonna look at it. Now, oil pressure gauge, okay? Oil pressure gauge right here, okay? You can see you got zero, 50, 100, yeah? Okay, so that's your oil pressure gauge. Here, read it. Not crack or broken, needle not sticking out, range between 25 to 75. Temperature gauge, not cracked or broken, needle not sticking out, range between 175 and 195. Temperature gauge, that's the water, right? So that's the range that we need to be at, right? So, number three, air gauge, not cracked or broken, needle not sticking out, range between 100 to 140 PSI. So that, this is your primary, this is your secondary, okay? So primary, secondary, all right? Now, next one, 
amp meter or the voltmeter gauge point to the screen okay so we're gonna say property mounted good working condition now bend break or crack no illegal well should be reading 12 to 14.5 volt and charging so what that means is if you look at here during the exam truck it's gonna say the boat meter right here that's the reading that you're gonna do okay so this truck doesn't have it but that will be uh, the reading right there okay all right next one so next then is your heater and defroster okay heater and defroster now uh, before that what you want to do is we're not done with this okay since we're here this is additional that we need to add to it here's your uh, gas gauge right your gas tank your fuel gauge okay so you're gonna say that you got proper amount for today's exam you got enough fuel to go in for today's exam and also your DEF tank right your DEF tank the same thing you gotta make sure that you say I have sufficient for DEF for for my DEF for uh, fuel for today's exam okay so you make sure you mention that all right which is not on the paper here but maybe on the side here you will probably why I have it all right next one Oh, I'm sorry, that's here. Gas and DEF, I should have got it here. Uh, it's okay. Heater and defroster, that's this one right here. Okay, heater, what you want to do is you want to turn all the way up. Okay, now for your defroster, you're going to have on cold and you're going to turn all the way to hot. All right, uh, I'm sorry, defroster. And this one, you're going to turn it all the way here for this one. So defroster, because we want it to be on this position for defrost. So you're gonna get your hand out here. You're gonna feel it. It's working properly, okay? All right, then you're gonna go all the way to your heater. Then you're gonna turn all the way here, okay? Then you're gonna feel it down here. My heater is working properly, okay? All right, so that's how you check your heater and defroster, all right? Then come back down, gas and DEF gauge. This is my gas and DEF gauge, properly mounted, good working condition, sufficient level to complete today's test. Okay, so again, that's what you point on here, All right? All right. Parking brake valve, red for trailer and yellow for tractor. Red for trailer, yellow for tractor, okay? Properly mounted, good working condition, not cracked, not leaking, not making any funny sound. Okay, so that's for this one. Okay, parking brake valves. All right, next one. For your steering wheel now. So if you follow, as you notice, we started from here, we moved to here, and then we come here, and then we talk about here, right? All the meters, and then we talk about here, we cover that, and now we're getting down to our steering wheel, okay? For the steering wheel, properly mounted, good working condition. No bend, no break, no crack, no illegal wheel. On a 20 inch steering wheel, no more than two inch of play. What does that mean, two inch of play? It means here, okay? You can see, you don't want the play no more than two inch, okay? So that's the play that we're referring to, okay? So that's the 10, 20 inch wheel, okay? Next one, turn right and left signal. All right, so here we're gonna go left signal. All right, and you turn on right signal. All right, turn on uh, signal arm is properly mounted and good working condition. Okay, no bend, no break, no crack, no illegal wheel. Right signal and left signals are working properly. So we did that. All right, now turn on your four way flasher emergency hazard light which is this one right here, All right? So you turn it on and make sure you're showing it. So both lights are working properly, All right? Here with that, what do we say? Property mounted, good working condition. No bend, break or crack, no illegal wheel, working properly, okay? All right, so that's done. Now, in the yard here, we're not gonna press the horn, but city and highway horn. This is my city horn. Press it down. This is my highway horn up here. You pull it and it will sound. Okay? 
property mounted, good working condition, working properly. Okay? Again, so city horn, highway horn, all working properly. Okay? So you don't need to do that in the yard. But at the exam, you gotta make sure you press it. Okay? Alright, here. Next, your gear shift. So once we're done here, now we're gonna move on to our gear shift. Alright? Probably mounted in good working condition. Right? Not bent, break, crack, or illegal wheel. Able to shift the correct gear. Alright? And gear boot. Probably mounted in good working condition. No holes or cracks which will cause the engine film to come into the cab. Alright, so what are we talking about here? We're talking about this gear shift. Alright, so that's what we're going to say. Alright, and the gear boot. We're talking about this one right here. Alright, okay. So go on, continue. Alright, here. Uh, I skipped one item. So, we forgot to turn on the high and low beam uh, lights. So where's that? That's right here. Okay, see right here? So you turn on the light. So you, what you wanted to do is, you wanted to make sure that you check your engine, right? And you're gonna turn it on. All right, hold on, turn on again. All right. So with this light on, watch here, like right here. So high beam, right? So if the high beam is on, so you can see, this is when you turn on the light, your headlights, then this is when it comes on. That's for your high beam, okay? When you turn in this, push in the center, that, then the lights is off, okay? So you press here, if you want, you can press on this one. You see that? Temporary high beam. Make sense? You press this one down, okay? You just press it down, that's your solid high beam. Yeah? Make sense? Okay? Alright, same thing just like driving a regular car. Same thing here, that's the four way flasher, right? Earlier, I need to show you, make sure we know that. Okay? Alright, this is the one that we forgot to mention, so we wanna make sure that we cover everything here before we move on, right? Again, here. Probably mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal will, working properly. Again, gotta make sure you switch, put it on, uh, turn on your hair, uh, gears. I mean, turn, your, turn on your lights, okay? Now, then we come down to this area, the pedal area, we skipped also. So we got accelerator, service, and the clutch. All probably mounted, good working condition, no bent, break, crack, illegal will, free of all debris, or any anything that could roll under the paddle and cause a hazard. Clutch has no more than one inch of play. Okay, so what does that mean? Come down here. All right, look, you got your, you got your uh, clutch, your service, and your accelerator, okay? So what you do is, so you can see, you got a, no more than one inch of plate on this one right here, yeah? Okay, you can see it's free, right? Here, doesn't have it. Here, doesn't have it as well, okay? All right, so you wanna make sure that nothing is under there that will cause that, okay? All right, so we forgot to say that one. Now we finished saying that one. We already finished saying the shift. Now we're gonna come down to your emergency equipment, all right? So we look back here, you can see your ABC fire extinguisher, fully charged, up to date, safety pin present, unit is secured so that it can not move around in the cab. Okay, all right, so what does that mean? All right, for well, your fire extinguisher, all right? So you wanna make sure your pins are present, right? So there's a pin that goes on here, all right? So that will be the one, and this one, there we go. All right, this one has it. Safety pin is present. You gotta make sure that it's on the green section. So that's make sure it's a sufficient amount and it's in good working order, okay? So what is this pin for? It ties on here. So that if you do remove it, then uh, 
that is how it, it gets recharged, right? So if you need to move it, you break this, you take out the pin, now you can use it, okay? So that's how you use your uh, fire extinguisher, okay? Just in case of emergency, that's why you're gonna have a hard time, you gotta make sure you pull this out, okay? Then you can use this and press it and get rid of your fire, okay? Whatever the situation is, all right? That's how you use it. And you gotta, again, you gotta make sure it's on a proper level, constantly, okay? That's for, for this one. Now, you gotta obviously set, uh, situate at, in the cab at the proper position. So you gotta make sure that it's secure, huh? Gotta make sure it's secure in here. And you gotta make sure that it's secure on something with a reflective triangle, right? So it's in there. Here we're gonna say the same way. Three reflective triangle. Warning device, all should be present, properly secure, so that they cannot move around the cap. Okay, so that's that would be that one. Spear fuse, okay, spear fuse, various size M fuses are present when needed. In the truck itself, there will be a little bag, it will be right here for the exam. So during the exam, you'll have one, okay? All right, so here on this section here, that will be up for your safe start. So we're not going to talk about that for this under this section, okay? All right. Then after you're done, after all the check, you again make sure that you cover everything. Is there any section that you're missing, all right? You're allowed to go back if you forgot, like what I did earlier. We forgot about the light. Then we make sure we we'll come back and cover the light. If we forgot to say about our um, clutch on the bottom here the accelerator the paddle and also we got to talk about make sure there's nothing in the between here right make sure it's all clear nothing is running on the floor right so after all this is done then you tell the examiner I have concluded my in-cab inspection then you're done okay good luck